Blindside is basically a, a short drama thriller about broken family. Um, there is there is this uh, this uh, um, this conflict between a, a family which uh, doesn't work as a whole, and then uh, external factors come in and make it even worse. So uh, there is no there is no happy happy ending uh, in a way uh, when it comes to family violence and sexual abuse. Doesn't matter if the if if the the result of of the whole situation. Um, is, re is resolved and there is, a, there is somebody who is punished for, for whatever is happening, yes. but there is no happy ending on the end of the day. That would be, that would be the character of Becky. She's, she's the one who, who actually gets, uh, gets uh, assaulted and, uh, um, and she's the one who, who kind of uh, will grow up to, to be damaged. Don't she knew her, and uh, we did the audition, and I really liked uh, the the. She had a really kind of kind and very calm presence, yeah. and all kind of vulnerab vulnerability there showing quite quite a bit. So I, I really liked that um, for for the character of Becky because she had to be that kind of vulnerable, innocent, uh, you know, young teenage girl and um, that that really shows up on the on the screen I really like that yeah I have a I had a I had an idea about um, uh, a movie or, or a short film which was uh, about family violence or sexual abuse or something which which uh, kind of um, gives a little bit more voice to the victims or kind of gives a a little bit of an uh, insight of some of those uh, um, issues. We got rejected um, on the grounds that um, the film was too much American. Of course, uh, we are influenced from <laughs> the movies we watch all the time. Uh, there was a there was a gun involved, and there was some uh, some uh, fighting and other yeah. things. And uh, um, and the, of course, it wasn't it wasn't to to the film commission standards, uh, which I agree, and they they had really good. Uh, uh, points uh, and really good kind of feedback, uh, which uh, which I can, uh, took on board and made a few changes to the script before we start shooting. Being a, a docu director kind of helped me to to be able to think on my feet very quickly in terms of shots and how to shoot things. Uh, um, being a camera operator gave me the the skills to actually being able to execute the shots. Uh, camera-wise and think ahead uh, in terms of lighting, uh, um, movement, and, um, and um, framing and all those things. Um, but I always wanted to make stories, so, so it's, it's just um, I like to do all of those things. And in, for Blindside, um, I had a specific uh, look I was looking for, and the application for Fresh Shots actually was um, I used it as a very good training or, or almost like a, a, a deadline lockdown for me to push myself to put together uh, the synopsis, the, the script, the, the log line, the um, um, storyboards, and all the, the, uh, the other material like director statement and all those things. So this actually pushed me to, to do those things which you actually need when you're making any, any type of project. Um, but you can get lazy sometimes. Oh, I don't need storyboards. I have it in my head. Uh, I, I wanted to actually do that for that reason, so I can actually make those things, and they helped a lot. With the low budget, no budget films, you work with the people you know. So I guess we come out of South Seas. Um, we look for work. We look for people to work with. Um, um, we come together. You know, we finish the same year or other years. Uh, work with other people from other years and it's it's happening without one I want it or not no, it's, it's just uh, the resources you work with the resources you have and you end up working with the people uh, who are as passionate or uh, as ready to to basically learn uh, and contribute to a project they believe it's worth uh, getting involved with yeah. so one way or another I don't think I would have been able to do it otherwise
Like we, we've been taught, it's out, says you always work with the people you know, with, uh, I mean, you become friends with some of them, they have other friends, or, and uh, that, that's, what, that's what you kind of feel comfortable to, to do, just work with the people you know. I was in post with three short films at the same time. I was going to three editors at the same time for about seven to eight, nine months. I had to pay it from my own pocket for that, uh, just because I really wanted the cast and crew to see it. This is very important when, when we do short films, cast and crew have to see it, even if they can't have anything for their online showreels for a while because you're sending it to film festivals and you don't want any footage to end up online, uh, at least they have to see it and I think that's very important to, to, to do. You have to impress people. You have to, uh, if you want somebody, uh, and that I know from South East, if you want somebody to get involved with your project, you have to m make them believe in you, in your project, Absolutely. so they can get involved. And I was looking for people and uh, on the big idea, I've put a few posts and asking for help. Um, uh, sometimes people say, well, how you expect somebody to help you when you don't pay them? I say, well, I'm doing it first of all, without being paid. And I'm achieving the results I want. And that's because I'm putting all the time and the effort into it because I believe in that project. Mm -hmm. So if somebody else doesn't believe in the project for any reason, of course, they're not going to get involved. So those people who got involved, they really like the, the concept. And um, I, wanted, I wanted something which is really cinematically or visually very, very captivating mm -hmm. and polished. 99% of the people were from South Seas, uh, yeah. cast and crew, and um, everyone was giving up their weekends and time and just petrol money and all those things just to make it happen.